Hi, I'm the Dragonator, and I like fairy tales. I have been in a bit of a magical girl mood since the middle of July. There's something about the routine of a typical magical girl show, with the transformations, normal girls finding monsters that were not so normal, that has almost always appealed to me. I'm not saying that the deviation from the norm is bad. In fact, I also love those that give the genre a bit of a darker turn. Maybe it's the routine, the aesthetics, the characters, the story as a whole that keeps me coming back. I don't know. I love it. Anyway, I kind of thought, like, what could have been the first magical girl story that encompasses the most elements? In some stories, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Sleeping Beauty, magic was done to the main characters in a negative light. That's not necessarily what happens in a magical girl show. I could have done something like a mythical tale, but it wouldn't quite fit. Then I thought Cinderella. Classic, but perfect. Sure, some versions of the story are brutal and quite graphic, but the version I'll tell today is not that kind of story. If you're interested, I have multiple versions of the story below. Once upon a time, there was a little family with a father, a mother, and a beautiful daughter. Unfortunately, the mother died. The father still wanted her daughter to have a mother, so he found a widow to marry. And she had her own two kids. At first, before they were officially married, everything was fine. Then everything changed after the festivities. She and her two daughters were mean to the once only child, who was not so affectionately nicknamed Cinderella. She was soon commanded to do all the housework. Her father could do nothing about it, for the stepmother soon figuratively had him on a leash as well. One day, the king announced there would be a royal ball so his son could find a wife. The stepmother, father, and stepsisters were allowed to go. But Cinderella? Not so much. Even though even those not as well off were allowed to go, the family made double sure that Cinderella was not allowed to go, even scoffing at her for even the thought of her in a nice gown and dancing. Cinderella helped her sisters get ready, heartbroken on the inside. The first nights of the ball came. Cinderella watched from a bar, certain that it would be a long night without her family. Her godmother saw her broken heart. What's wrong, child? She asked. I wanted to go to the ball. Say no more. As your fairy godmother, I will aid you to go to the ball. With a pumpkin, some mice, a rat, and some lizards, the fairy godmother made for Cinderella a carriage, some horses, a coachman, and some footmen. She then transformed her goddaughter's dress to a fancy dress of silver and gold. She warned the newly dressed Cinderella that the magic is not permanent and to go back home at midnight since the magic will wear off. At once, she went to the ball. As soon as she was in the main room, everyone dropped what they were doing and admired her. Even the prince took notice and offered to dance. Fortunately, she was able to keep track of the time and left before everything turned back to normal. The ball lasted two nights. The second night didn't end like the first did. Next thing Cinderella knew, it was midnight and she had to leave. She paid no attention to the glass slipper that fell off her foot as she went back home without any suspicion. The next morning, the king announced that there was a glass slipper missing from the prince's dancing partner and whoever fit into it would become his wife. Every bachelorette in the town tried on the slipper, and none fit the shoe perfectly. The last stop was Cinderella's house. First, the stepsisters tried it on, but to no avail. Cinderella was the last one, and her foot fit perfectly. Everyone in the room found out who the mysterious girl at the ball was, and she got married to the prince. Despite their mistreatment of Cinderella, the stepsisters even got married to members of the court and everyone lived happily ever after. Thanks for watching! As always, links are in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Tales and Software. Bye!